Thousands of pieces of evidence from murder, sexual assaults, and everyday crime mislabeled or missing. And that's just the beginning of what was uncovered in an audit of the Lawrence County Sheriff's Evidence Room. That audit lasted more than six months. This was the first audit of the Sheriff's Office in at least 24 years. Our Brianna Smith has been investigating the Sheriff's Office for a year before state agents even stepped foot in the office. As officers respond to murders, armed robberies, and petty crimes, the pieces of evidence they take from those scenes are intended for justice. Evidence that can make or break a case. In Lawrence County, those pieces of important evidence are stored here at the former jail. The same place that hosted the annual haunted house for charity. You see these halls that were used to spook were also where evidence, guns, and even drugs were being kept right next to where families were walking through. These things were locked and secured, so to speak, but at the same time, I, had a, I would have had a concern about the safety point of it. They would soon learn the safety aspect was the least of the problems. Both outgoing Sheriff Ricky Chastain and incoming Sheriff Don Reynolds requested an independent audit of the evidence department by state agents. Audits are only recommended during changes in leadership. They aren't required. The reason for an audit is to make sure that evidence is being stored properly and being tracked accurately. There hadn't been an audit done in Lawrence County in at least two decades. It was chaos, yes. Pictures from SLED depict what agents walked into, rooms of evidence from dozens of different cases thrown together. Stacks and stacks and stacks of guns, not logged, not properly tagged, and not properly disposed of. We have guns back there now. I know this dates back into the probably 1990s. Agents had to start from scratch, taking weeks to sort out the thousands of uncatalogued items that they discovered. We found uh, drugs, we found money, uh, found just old evidence that was laying in there. Not labeled? Uh, a lot of it was not labeled, yes. The audit revealed 391 pieces of evidence were missing, along with six guns. It also revealed that $380 were missing from one case. Pieces of evidence that were surely important to dozens of cases here in Lawrence County. The only problem is with little paperwork, they were unable to find out what cases were impacted by that missing evidence and what justice may have been denied. If you're not being accountable with the evidence, you don't have too much leg to stand on. Part of the reason the evidence is so hard to track is because it was being kept in several places in the sheriff's office with no logs. Some seized money was taken to a bank to be deposited and earn interest, while other cash was kept in this narcotics safe, along with guns and evidence, all with no record of what was coming in or what was going out. What was shocking was what was, had been done uh, by the sheriff's office in Lawrence County with those uh, assets that had been seized. Uh, that should be a shock to anyone. Representative Gary Smith is currently sponsoring legislation to reform South Carolina's forfeiture and seizure law. His bill would make it tougher for police to take your items on just a suspicion of a crime. So we showed him the findings of this sled audit. Does it show that it kind of that the asset forfeiture law needs reform on both sides? Oh, I, th I think certainly so. It certainly says that there needs to be some accountability and all there. Now, Sheriff Reynolds is looking to do then, just that. Over here, they have all their supplies. Got the thousands of items that were logged are now in order. With a system in place that regulates how all evidence is checked in and checked out. But the work is far from over. Evidence custodians are now continuing to search to return items that don't belong in custody and continue to look for missing pieces of potentially crucial evidence. There won't be this problem next time. Brianna Smith. 7 News. We have reached out to former Sheriff Ricky Chastain several times while investigating this story. He received a copy of the SLED audit and its findings. But the former sheriff has yet to respond to our questions on how this situation in Lawrence County happened.